Hi, and thanks for checking out my new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I set up my modular character and what blueprint edits are required. For this one, I'm using Pia Robeson's stylized action mail set. It's split into a modular format, consisting of the head, the upper body, including arms, hands, legs, and feet. So to set this up, we need to make some changes to our player character, and to do this, we first want to start with editing our parent character class, which is the BP Combat character in the DCS folders. You can open this up, the first thing we want to do is add the skeletal mesh components that will act as our default character, and that is, what will be shown when our character has no items equipped. We can do this by simply duplicating the head, gloves, chest plate, legs and boots meshes, and we'll change their name to default so that we can better identify them later. Now we can compile the character and click save. Before we leave the BP Combat character, there is something that we need to change. Head to the top of the event graph and double click the Begin Play Tick option. In the Begin Play Tick section, we need to assign our meshes to properly animate along with our main mesh, which will be controlled by our animator. To do this, we need to drag the references into the blueprint. We also need to add in a reference to our main mesh. Then we need to add the Set Master Pose function. Once we have the master pose function set up, we need to assign the variables like so. Make sure that the main parent mesh is the new master bone component, and then add all the other meshes into the target. Now we need to simply connect the master pose component to the third pin on our sequence list. Hit compile and save. Back in our project window, we can now search for the ALS Animan Blueprint. This is our character controller. We want to open it up and do some more editing. The first change I'm going to make is to assign the modular headpiece of our character to be the parent mesh object. This will be our main model skeleton, however I won't assign it to the head default slot. Instead I'm going to leave that blank, as that's going to be used for removing helmets and headgear. Alternatively, I can assign a hairpiece to it, but that would require that the hairpiece to be attached to a full body skeleton. For now I'm just going to leave it empty, but I am going to put the default model in each of the other slots. Now that we have the values assigned, we can compile, save and test our character to make sure the animations are lining up correctly. As you can see, our character is working fine. But we're going to reach a problem when we try and put on a piece of armour. As you can see, parts of our skin are actually clipping through. This doesn't really matter too much depending on what kind of armour you're wearing. But if your character has armour pieces that do cut into the skin, we'll need to actually hide the chest piece underneath. To hide the default components underneath items, we need to edit the AC Inventory Blueprint. In the project window, search for AC Inventory and open it. Now we need to edit two functions. Search for and open the Attach Item to Equipment function. In the Spawn Skeletal Mesh comment section, we need to duplicate what's happening here. Simply copy the player reference but now we want to set the targets to our default meshes. Now we can also duplicate this select function. Ensure that each of the components go to their representative slots. Also ensure that our index is connected to this break item data call here. Now with this done, we need to have a set visibility function. Leave the new visibility checkbox unchecked and connect the set visibility between the skeletal mesh and master pose component functions. And to make the next step easier, let's select all of those new components and copy them. For the next step, 
search for and open the detach from equipment function and paste in those new components. Now we can link up set visibility at the end of our set skeletal mesh chain. Also remember to check the new visibility checkbox. Hit compile and save. Now when testing our game, if we equip our chest plate, you see that it actually hides the components that were underneath. Right now this makes our arms invisible, but it really depends on what kind of character and modular setup you have.